Hello and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be using two things from our celebration catalog. So each of these two things, the first here is the stamp set. It's called Heal Your Heart. Um, and one of the things I love about it is because it has some really good sentiments for outside of your card as well as some nice little sentiments for the inside. And um, I feel like sometimes, you know, you may be at a loss for words for what you may personally write, but sometimes just a nice little sentiment is just enough to kind of say what you mean without feeling um, like strained to do so. So I liked this set, set for that. And then the other thing is the Oso Ombre paper. At the moment, I believe, last time I checked, I don't think it was available at this very moment. However, there are a lot of other papers that are available for celebration. So you could definitely still use those for this technique um, for by the card layout. You would just have to change out the paper if you were not able to get your hands on it. And this paper comes in three colors. It's got Bermuda Bay and Granny Apple Green. And on the opposite side, you've got Blackberry Bliss and Rococo Rose with two different pattern types there. So what I did for this card is very straightforward. I wanted to make just simple kind of sympathy cards where it kind of, my goal was simplicity. I didn't want it to be exceptionally difficult. I wanted it to be really straightforward. And so I used the uh, white polka dot tool ribbon I used a little bit of white and then I stamped directly on that paper. You could add embellishments, you could add embossing if you wanted, um, I could add Wink of Stella, but I really wanted to keep this super simple. I'm actually making this card for um, a swap that I signed up for and so I was trying to uh, think of something kind of unique but simple that could be easily recreated and here's what I came up with. So. What you need for this, really simple. So you'll need your card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This is in Rococo Rose. This piece here is just my six by six paper sliced right down the middle at three inches. Um, I kept the little, um, instead of cutting it at the five and a half, I kept it at six because I like, when I do cards like this, I like just trimming it with my paper snips because that gets it closer and I think less likely prone for error if I miscounted something. Um, so this is three inches by six and I'll be trimming that down. This is three and a quarter by five and a half. And this piece is just my liner four by uh, five and a quarter. So let's do our stamping first. Um, I used, uh, for this one here, I used the Rococo Rose on the inside. This one I'm going to stay with the black. So let's move these off to the side for a little bit. Um, and all I did is I chose the uh, Wishing I Could Heal Your Heart. And inside was the Sorry For Your Loss. So there you go. And when I added my label, I made it where it's a little crooked if I do it head on. So I've learned I have to actually tilt it just a smidge this way to do it. But you know, you, you adapt to your particular stamp and you, you make it work. But now it's ready to go. So now let's go ahead, take this paper. And because I know I'm gonna cut off this half inch here at the bottom, um, I'm just going to intentionally stamp just a, a little bit above that. And just in case you didn't catch that, the opposite side has one of the other four uh, of the other three colors. So there's four colors in that pack. So there's that. And then I'm just gonna put that away. All I have to do now, I'm gonna start adhering some stuff. So let's go ahead and adhere this to my inside first while it is uh, drying here. So uh, when I'm adhering my liners with my Tombow, I do try to do just the borders. I found, oh my, I found that sometimes, sometimes it will be a little bit too bumpy and I'll feel it when I'm writing, you know, my message to the recipient. And so I, I tend to just do the border when that happens. So then let's fold that down. This is my bone folder. And there we go. So. There's that. So now, before I adhered this piece on there, I actually did this piece first because I wanted to add my ribbon and I want to add the ribbon around both pieces of paper. So, same thing. Add a little bit of this. And again, leave that space for that half inch that I know is coming off. And 
just nice and centered. It's really small margin, but I think it just adds just a little pop and it ties in with that polka dot tool ribbon really well. But you could use any other ribbon. I thought that this one would um, work well again for that sort of minimalistic look. Plus, it's really um, oh easy to tie, easy to cut, easy to manipulate. So I loved that. So uh, for your ribbon, I used 13 inches. It's actually a little bit less than that. I keep, kept snipping off about an inch, but I wanted to make sure that I actually had the right amount. Um, and I'd rather, you know, lose an inch or two here or there than to have, um, have it too short and then it's uh, more likely to be a wasted piece or a piece that feels like forced on the card. So there you go. And then I just double knot it. I didn't even bow, make it into a bow. You could. I also tried to make it about center on the top there. Um, and then here's the trick. To make sure it stays, use the stamp and seal. So instead of using the... Um, oh, I forgot to start it. Um, so instead of using the Tombow, if you use the stamp and seal, you can actually have it kind of go on top of the ribbon so that when you lay it down, it will stay in place. It won't uh, jostle. So um, what's more important, I think, for me in the eye is that the top part be straight. I think it, because your eyes kind of go in a um, up to down manner, even if this wasn't exactly perfectly in line, it'll your eyes are going to be more likely to forgive it if it's level at the top. So I just flip that over like before, just trim it up against the paper. And you can use your paper trimmer if you've got a little guillotine trimmer, you could use that as well. All good options. And then um, because I try to keep my snips for just paper, I have a pair of scissors that I just got a while back and I use it specifically for my ribbons. I have a piece of retired ribbon here to remind me of that. Um, and I figured, you know, when my when my girls are a little older, it'll be easy to can tell them like, hey, don't don't touch the ribbon scissors unless you're using it for fabric and ribbon. So, um, so there's that. We've got here our uh, Rococo Rose. We've got our Blackberry Bliss and oh, Bermuda Bay and Granny Apple Green. So there we go. All four of the colors from this pack. Um, there are some really fun things you can do with this. Um, I love that there's kind of that more muted side with the um, ombre effect. And then there's the side with like the little uh, sort of polka dots here. Oh, 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 well, there goes some stuff falling down. <laughs> there's, see there's here, there's our um, like sort of polka dot pattern, which I love. So um, if you need any of these materials, feel free to get in touch and I will happily help you where I can. If you need anything else, let me know and I will um, uh, be of help. If you need any of the dimensions or anything um, that I use to make this card, I'll have linked that below um, the items I'll have listed and I'll have linked that on my blog. And um, if the paper is in stock, obviously you'll want to get your hands on it with a $50 order. So if um, you need anything, let me know. If not, go ahead and subscribe so that you can see when my next videos come out. Again, showing you things like super simple cars that you can send out en masse. Um, things like my tip videos that I've started making. This is one of my like sort of projects for the years to have more themed um, videos, not just... Um, uh, kind of card making all the time. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.